You know, I find myself getting into new things, and which is funny because they're really not new. They're actually old. They're things that I saw my grandmother do when I was young, things that I learned along the way. You and I, you and I are creatures of what we have seen and heard others do. And we, we may change things up. We may new, learn new things along the way. But often the things and the stories and the ways people communicated with us in our past shapes us and shapes our future. Psalms, the writer of Psalm 78, talks about that when he says that those are that we, you and I, are to put our trust in the Lord, that we should remember His deeds, and that we are to keep His commandments. That's a process that we're supposed to live out if we're going to be Christians and be servants of the Lord. We're supposed to trust Him. We need to remember what He's done for us and talk about it, and that we are to uh, be, follow His commands and His instructions. And we're supposed to do that unlike some that have gone before us who were, you know, they, they were stubborn, not loyal, and not faithful. And I wonder if the difference between the two is whether we remember his deeds. Or another way of saying it is whether we're willing to remember and share our stories of what God has done in our lives. If people don't share their story, and they don't tell others about the goodness of God and what He's done for them, then how will that next generation even be able to remember His deeds? In Joshua chapter 4, Joshua, as they cross the Jordan River, God instructs them that on what is currently this dry ground in the middle of a river, they're to take 12 stones and pile it up and to make it a memorial, an altar, if you will, a memorial, so that those that come after would remember what God did. In essence, those that come after would know the story and see the impact and the, 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 the realization of that story in their life. We talked a lot about stories. We talked about your story, good, bad, interacting with other people's story, how we respond to stories. The fact is, though, you have a story, and that story is important. It's important to you, and it's also important to God, and maybe most of all, it's important to the next generation. Because if they don't see that altar of stories, that altar of remembrance, you might just lose them. We might not see another generation that loves the Lord like this generation is supposed to love the Lord. So I challenge you, as you remember the things that God has done, maybe take time and share them with your family. Invite them to your home for dinner and have a meal and just start telling stories about what God has done in your life. Write it down. Remember it. Text it to your family. Do something because that altar that your building of your stories, it changes lives. So I challenge you, you know, it may not be what grandma did exactly, but it certainly, it's certainly a testament of what I learned from her. And that's what your story is all about.